Ken Tamplin is the vocal coach on YouTube, who also is a killer guitar player. Yes. Turns out is lip syncing and not really playing guitar. And so a lot of controversy has hatched over the last three weeks as people are discovering that he is singing to a backing track and lip syncing or miming his lyrics. And so he's had a lot of splaining to do. And what's fun about this is that it's coming out now that Ken Tamplin's always been a see you next Tuesday to anyone who criticizes him or even leaves a negative comment. Oh, really? He threatens legal action. He gets, <laughs> quote unquote, lawyers involved. When has that worked for any of these people? I, this is what's so crazy. There's so many parallels to like Suttering John in this. So this is from the guy, Mark Ajax, who challenged him to a sing off, yep. who's uh, been very funny about this. He kind of sums this up and then we'll get into the, the source material for where he got this from. If being caught for lip syncing since 1989, literally look it up, wasn't terrible enough for a vocal coach who says the proof is in the singing. Keeps getting worse. World famous scammer Ken Tamplin has apparently gone on a power trip so hard that the countdown is looking pretty bleak right now. <laughs> Shining light on his deception has caused more things to be invested. So that's interesting because apparently he claimed that he was being tapped to be the new lead singer for Motley Crue over Vince Neil. Sure. And so now they're showing right here that Nikki Six says, I don't even know who that guy is. So now we've never <laughs> considered him to be our singer. Investigated <laughs> about Ken and people to come forward with more stories of his insane behavior. And today's incident is as funny as it is apparently illegal. They did show the invoices from Ken's lawyers who were basically bullying him into taking down a review from Ken's vocal course that obviously they didn't like because the positive reviews do stay up and are not an infringement of copyright or whatever the hell he's claiming. As this user sums up, so basically they were like, keep Ken's name out of your mouth or else. But unsurprisingly Ken, pretending to be lawyers, made a few spelling mistakes which is pretty suspicious on itself. As a major spelling nerd, there are so many typos in that lawyer's letter that there is no way this person is remotely educated in law, much less high school. I agree with other commenters, it sounds like Ken wrote this himself. Pretending to be a lawyer when you aren't is a crime. And this is That's probably true, and we're gonna show those letters in just a moment that Ken wrote them himself, but lawyers do misspell things all the time. <laughs> Doctors, lawyers, they're not all that concerned with uh, grammatical errors and spelling. Sure. Where it starts getting tricky. <laughs> His lawyer wouldn't say from our copy written course, he'd say from my client's course. Plus he spelled counsel wrong. It's Ken faking it again, a hundred percent. A real law firm will have a bar number. It's not written from a lawyer. Mr. Robert Hart, as he signed at the bottom, is actually breaking the law by practicing law without a license. Also, any lawyer will not email you back. Everything would be via certified mail. Well, I'm interested to see how many fake accounts Ken will need this time to defend himself. If it's even possible at this point. Watch this next video to understand exactly how Ken Tamplin became a meme in only one day. Okay, so there's a lot of people who are showing evidence that he is making sock accounts and commenting underneath videos and sending out cease and desist letters and things like this. So Grimm sent me a note on Patreon. It says, this guy, David DiMuzio, bought the singing lessons course in 2013, used it for two years and decided to make his own video about whether you can sing better than anyone. He was basically giving a positive review for the course he bought from Ken and his video received a copyright infringement strike on YouTube. He decided to message Ken to ask him why this was the case when he didn't even use any copyrighted material in his video and didn't show any videos or anything else. So that's where we're picking up from as uh, we watch David DiMuzio's video about this. Now, this was released two days ago. He bought the course 11 years ago, did a review two years after that, and has been quiet about this. Now that all this shit's coming out about Ken Tampa, it's just like, oh, yeah, this guy is a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, this checks out. Yeah, let me, <laughs> let me show you. I got some receipts myself, which is fun when you find these things out. 
So this email was, Dear David, you have chosen to upload a copyrighted trademark name, How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, um, from, from our copywritten and trademark course. You have- I like that he says copyrighted and then copywritten. Also Contra- chosen. Not just that you did it. Right. You made this <laughs> you moral choice. You chosen to upload. Yeah. yeah. How dare you, sir? It's never copywritten. It's, no. it's not a copyright with a W. I right. know that now. <laughs> yeah, even John <laughs> knows that now. You've also chosen to use the trademark name Ken Tamplin in your video. Two infractions. That's hilarious. He thinks that you can't use his name. He wants to be a public figure. He's got over a million subscribers on YouTube. But if you use his name, he could sue you. That's not how that works at all. Who is this work? Like, who is the model? Whether it's Stuttering John, Brendan Schaub tried this. Yes. I, I don't know as much about it, but I know you guys have talked about like Maddox, like yep. all these people. Who Who is the model where they're like, oh, I could sue someone and win like blank? Because <laughs> I've never seen it be successful for any of these people. That's a good question. As far as people goofing on someone on the internet, I've never seen it be successful. I'm sure there are cases where people take it too far. With using copyrighted material. I get, but they all threaten it, and I've never yes. seen it work out for any of them. Well, threatening works a lot. People don't want to be threatened with lawsuits. Lawsuits are very uncomfortable and inconvenient. But so, it never works. If you're, if you're up against someone, like anyone that's doing a podcast knows you can't just sue someone. For, you know what I mean? Like, oh, no. It's never worked for it's, like Brendan Schaub threatening it or it's, whoever. It's, yeah. well, well, some people go through with it. Those are the idiots, like Maddox <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Brendan Schaub. Yeah. John is always bluffing. And a lot of these Fair. people are just yeah. using it as a bluff. They know they have two seven off suit in their hand yeah. and they're pushing all in. And they're like, if you call them, they're like, well, I'm out of the game now, but I tried. And these <laughs> you know? aren't even real chips. <laughs> yes. I brought these from home. <laughs> <laughs> they spelled Caesars wrong on this. <laughs> Because I talked, I literally said the words Ken Tamplin in my video. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Um, so they're saying it's a trademark name and I'm, I'm breaking copyright because I said his name in my video. We suggest you be more careful using copywritten and trademark names and content in the future. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I said, hi, Robert. It is fair use the way I title my video. I wasn't teaching a vocal course or selling a vocal course. I was only reviewing my path as a vocalist and whether I felt it was possible to sing better than everyone else or not. Did you watch the video it falls under fair use the way i used it within my video it's also fair use for me to discuss ken tamplin and his course in my video as a review i'm willing to take down the video if you remove your copyright strike if you don't then ken tamplin and my opinions about the way you're handling this and trying to censor open discussion about his methods will be discussed in many of my many of my future videos i don't think that's something you want i don't sell a vocal course of any kind um, which I still have never sold a vocal course of any kind. Please remove the copyright strike. <laughs> Sincerely, David. They responded, David, you uploaded content to YouTube with a very clear and deliberate view towards poaching and siphoning customers customers from our trademark brand, how to sing better than anyone else. Course to yours, the law is very clear on this. I don't even know what course to yours. Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's a saying, but it sounds important, I guess. You got Ken in Tamplin. Addition, you- <laughs> yes. <laughs> So he's trying to claim that they're he's trying to steal from him by using a similar name, but he doesn't sell a vocal chorus. Yeah. Chose defamation or character to malign our client's trademark name, Ken Tamplin, Ken Tample Vocal Vocal Academy, with a very clear and deliberate attempt towards poaching and siphoning customers from our branded trademark, Ken Tamplin, Ken Tample Vocal Academy to yours. The law is very clear on this. Re- the law is very clear on this. It's written multiple times. That's its own paragraph on that one. That's what lawyers so always say. We, yes. we, we don't even need the lawsuit because that's how clear the law is on this. Well, yeah, like, cite an example. A lot of times <laughs> if you feel like you have a strong case or something, you'd be like, it's very similar to... I'm sorry, it's been made clear. <laughs> okay, it's just very clear on this. Okay, fair enough. You should know. YouTube channel attempted something identical what you, to what you have done and then decided to escalate the claim to Google, which forced us to do the same. Because the law is very definitive on this, <laughs> it resulted in the permanent deletion of the YouTuber's account. Um... We will do whatever is necessary to protect our client's branded, trademark, service mark, copyrights, and public image to the fullest extent of the law. We suggest you be more careful using copywritten and trademark <laughs> names and content in the future. I said, hi, Robert. Okay, so I- after his response reply, back. Hi, David. We see you have countered the infringement claim. We have two choices. You can delete the video, and we will not counter and pursue an infringement claim against you, and your channel will be restored. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'd like getting one copyright claim back then, like totally shut down your channel. But anyway, it was a long time ago. Um, or you can follow through with your with your counterclaim. We will do the same, and we will let YouTube decide if they 
if they decide against you, they most likely will delete your account. <laughs> it's your call. We will give you 24 hours to think about it. If we do not see the video removed within 24 hours, we will have our decision. Whoa. Wow. Put a deadline on an ultimatum. All right, man. But <laughs> look at this is going to be your fault when you lose your channel over this. This is they are doubling and tripling down on this bluff. Yeah, this is very stunt show. Yes, for sure. It's where you talk about like fantasy, where they're like, mm -hmm. "You have twenty four hours." Like they just they want to sound <laughs> like they're in a movie, <laughs> right? I have a very distinctive set of skills. <laughs> this is what goes on behind the scenes from KTVA, Ken Tamplin, his attorneys, and all of this sort of thing. And you guys can make your own decision on this. Uh, you know, I've been on YouTube now for gosh, like 15 years or something like that. And I've never come across any YouTuber had anything like this with people's lawyers threatening to, you know. He has a hair system, doesn't he? <laughs> look at this. Look at this guy's hair up to here. To pursue claims against me and all this sort of thing. This was absolutely <laughs> wild. And I actually. That doesn't look natural to me. I don't know. I'm just noticing that. It was that they placed each individual follicle. I could be wrong never did discuss this and make a YouTube video about it until now. I actually feel safe enough now because all these people are making videos about Ken. So I feel like he probably doesn't have time to just only sue me now. So, uh, you know, you guys can make your decision on this, but this is the kind of person. And you know what? I, this reminds me again. So now this guy's like, well, now I'm getting involved because what's he going to do, sue everyone? Like, everyone's talking about him, so now I feel like I'm pretty safe. This goes back to playing the Kate Meany tapes, where at first it was like, I'm going to sue Blind Mike, and I'm going to sue yep. Carl, and I'm going to sue... And it just became too many people just like, all right, I'll just back to Kate Meany and her mom. <laughs> Tr we're trimmed me out Kate. real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to sue Kate Meany. That seems to be the best round for us. And kind of, uh, you know, representation that Ken has on the internet. And uh, it was one of my worst experiences on YouTube. And I, like, I did, like I said, I didn't talk about it until now. Because honestly, I just don't want to get sued and deal with all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, now, I'm, now I'm talking about it. So that's Ken Tamplin. I haven't personally been a fan since going through all of this stuff. Go figure. It does work. Intimidation does work in this thing. They don't want to lose their YouTube channel. They don't want to even deal with it. I'll tell you, I'll give John credit for this. He gave me a copyright strike for playing the music video of I Feel Small. Mm -hmm. And I know that it was fair use the way that I transformed that. And I put it in a counter and YouTube's bot just said, no, we don't agree with your counter. And the next step is for me to then do a manual counter where it gets looked at. And then John has, and I'm just like, you know what? It's not worth my time. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's on worth... my Rumble channel if you want to watch it. I, I don't need to go any further with this. So a lot of people just like get exhausted with it and just go, okay, fine. I have other things to do. I don't need I don't need this. That's fair. But I again, if you're up against the internet, like as mm -hmm. you can tell with John, where if you're up against enough people, it's going to get pretty exhausting. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's where Ken is now. So that's, uh, yeah. that's fun. Who are these podcasts? W-A-N.